Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be detailing the stuffed animal sized car I made in last week's video. And I don't know if detailing is the right word for what I'm doing, but I think it kind of works. So if you haven't yet, make sure to watch part one of this video first to see me do the hard work of making the body of this car. But let's get into adding all the details. Okay, here is where I left off from the last video. I have a very simple car here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is really basic, but that's just draw on some car doors. I just used a darker red marker because it was easiest and just drew a line with a little curve at the bottom on the sides. And then to make the trunk, I drew kind of an upside down trapezoid on the back. I made a few mistakes drawing this since I was just freehanding it, but I fixed it by covering it with some red paint. Next, I'm gonna add the handles and I happen to have this glittery silver craft foam and it's really pretty. I'll show it a little more later, but I basically cut that into a long oval and you could just glue it on flat, but I tried to give it a little more dimension by just putting a dot of glue on each end and letting it puff out kind of in the middle. So the glue is closer together than the sides actually are. The first one didn't look too good, so I had to redo it, but the second one was better. It was only puffing out a little bit, so it just looked a lot smoother. So that's it for the handles. I know you're not actually gonna have to grab it and open the door, but I thought it looked a lot better not being flat. Next, I'm gonna make the license plate and I already cut out a rectangle with rounded corners out of some thin cardboard. And this was about 4.25 inches long and two and a half inches wide. Now I'm gonna cover this with some plain printer paper since I plan to draw on my license plate with marker. While this dries, I wanted to show another license plate option I could have gone with. And it's just this tiny license plate with my name on it from one of those gift shops. And I've had this for like at least 10 years. So the fact that I actually have a use for it is really funny, but I'm not going to be using this because I only have one and I wanna customize this a little bit more. So getting back to the DIY one, I can cut off the extra paper and then you can write whatever license plate number you want. I decided to go with LPC 5000 for Lixie Pig Crafts and then 5000 subscribers, which is what this video is kind of celebrating. And then since I'm in California, I did that California cursive in red at the top. And then I did some black around the outside to kind of be the frame. And then I glued on little rectangles in the corner to be the registration month and year. And that's pretty much it. So I already made another one and this turned out a little better because it was off camera. And I'm gonna add all these on at the end. So next I'm gonna move on to making the bumper. I'm just gonna add this to the front of the car to add a little different colors. So I have some black cardstock and I'm sketching out the shape I want. And I could have also just painted this, but I was running out of black paint. I cut out two so it was wide enough to cover the whole width of the car. And here's what they looked like when they were done. I just measured the width of the car and then cut one of the pieces so they'd match up and be the right size. And after gluing them together, the last thing I'm gonna do is add some black horizontal lines across this entire thing, since that's just how they looked in all the photos I saw. But I mean, it was black Sharpie on black cardstock, so you can't really see anything. But I think the sound was cool, so I'm just gonna take a little ASMR break. Okay, so as you can see, this made a huge difference and now I can just set this aside and add it on later. Next, I'm gonna make the front headlights out of this sparkly craft foam. And this gives them some shine, but if you don't have this, you could always just use white or yellow paper. So I'm tracing something around to get the circles and cutting them out. And if you spot this ugly one in the background, that was my first attempt of the back headlights, but I did such a bad job cutting it out, I just decided to cut it out of orange paper and then painted silver around that. So I first cut out the orange circles and then did one red circle that I cut in half and glued onto each of the orange pieces. And then I painted the edge silver as opposed to gluing it onto the silver foam, which was my original plan. Now here are the finished lights. For the front ones, I glued them onto some black cardstock to give them a little more dimension. But yeah, now I'm gonna start adding all the things I just made to the car and I'm gonna start with a bumper. I used hot glue just to make things faster. And then I added my front license plate on top of that. I think duct tape is a little better for this than hot glue to keep the license plate straight and not angle downward at all. So I had to change that later and you'll also wanna make sure this does not drag on the ground. Sticking with the front of the car, next I'm gonna add the headlights. Luckily, I think I got them pretty even on both sides. Then moving on to the back, I added the tail lights with the orange side facing up. And then I added the license plate to the bottom, but it was kind of cut off in the video. So luckily I lifted it up and there it is. Now the last thing I'm gonna add is definitely optional and not everyone will have the materials for this, but I'm gonna add a windshield. 
You'll need a big sheet of clear plastic from packaging, so I'm using this salad container and the lid had the biggest surface area, so that's mostly what I'm going to be using. And luckily I found a second one, so I'm going to connect the two pieces to be the entire windshield. Ideally you'd have one continuous piece, but I'm honestly surprised I found enough plastic for this. So after cutting out the flat part in the middle, I have my two pieces, and I already trimmed them so they'd fit across the width of the car. And now before I glue them together, I'm going to fold over this bottom edge, maybe half an inch, because this tab will help the windshield attach a lot easier. So after doing that to both, I'm going to glue this together using a glue stick. And I know that might sound weird because it's kind of the weakest glue, but I ran some tests and this did hold up pretty well and most importantly, dried clearer than the others. Obviously though, it'll stay pretty purple before it fully dries. Next, I'm painting the edge black to give it more of a frame so it's not just like a piece of glass hanging out there. And I'm imagining this as like a convertible with top down, so that's why the windshield is up, but there's really no other windows. Okay, after letting this fully dry, I can add this onto the car. And if you remember from my last video, I taped on the dashboard, so where it connects to the car, there should be a little opening. And that's where I'm going to add the tab I left on the windshield. So theoretically, I could use liquid glue to hold this in place since, you know, the tight space will hopefully hold it up a little more. But it did droop a little bit when I did this way, so I ended up having to go in with some hot glue later to get it to stand up a little bit higher. Okay, so while that dried, I decided to add one more finishing touch, and that is coating the outside of this with Mod Podge. This will give the car a nice shine, even though I accidentally bought matte Mod Podge, so it's not as shiny as the glossy version. But I'm glad I did this because it did give the car more of a rich color, I think. Ideally, I would have done this before adding the wheels and all the stuff to the outside, though. Once it dried, here is how the finished car looked. The stop motion is very dramatic because it's as the sun is setting. But I'm really proud of how this turned out. I did not expect to pull off the windshield, but it worked pretty well. Now my stuffed animals can go wherever they want because I know they're not a very big fan of walking. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like to help more people see it, and make sure to comment any video requests you have. I'm really excited for the upcoming holiday season. I might even be attempting Vlogmas. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time!